Prime Minister announced lockdown 4, says the new rules of lockdown will be announced before May 18. A total of 11 persons from the Jain community has come from Jorhat and reached Dimapur. 27 Nagas from Assam also reached Dimapur. Central releases over 6,195 crore rupees to 14 states as the second equated monthly installment of the post-devolution revenue deficit grant. Nagaland is given 326 crores. Hello viewers, this is News and Trends and you're watching the Daily News Bulletin. Prime Minister Narendra Modi addressed the nation this evening. His address came a day after he chaired a meeting with the chief ministers of all the states over the lockdown imposed due to COVID-19 pandemic. Let's listen in to what the Prime Minister said. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has announced lockdown 4 across the country. In his address to the nation this evening, the Prime Minister also announced economic package arising out of the nationwide lockdown. The Prime Minister said the new rules of lockdown will be announced before May 18. The first batch of stranded persons from Nagaland residing outside the state arrived in Dimapur this evening. A total of 11 persons from the Jain community travelled from Jorhat in Assam and reached Dimapur. 27 Nagas from Assam also reached Dimapur. All these persons have been taken to the quarantine centres at Agri Expo site where medical screening and tests have been conducted. APC and Dimapur in charge of COVID-19, Y. Kikheto Sema, Commissioner and Secretary Food and Civil Supplies, Honje Konyak, Principal Director of Health and Family Welfare, CMO Dimapur and other officials from the Dimapur District Administration received the first batch of stranded persons. Speaking to news and trends over phone, Y. Kikheto Sema said all efforts are being made by the D Dimapur District Administration along with the medical staff to screen and examine the guests who arrived this evening. He appreciated the role of the non-Naga organizations such as the various Samaj of Dimapur for identification, arrangements for food and transportation for their members stranded outside the state. He said Nagas should learn from these organizations instead of showing stigma towards fellow Nagas stranded outside the state who are our own brothers and sisters, our own church members and our own family. Yeah. Early in the morning, the COVID-19 team led by the APC visited the various sites identified as quarantine centers and also interacted with the Dimapur Naga Students Union and Dimapur Ao Youth Organization. Moving on, Indian Railways gradually restarted passenger train services from today with 15 pairs of trains initially. These trains will be running as special trains from New Delhi station connecting Dibrugar, Agartala, Aura, Patna, Bilaspur, Ranchi, Bhuvaneshwar, Secunderabad, Bengaluru, Chennai, Tiruvannandapuram, Madgaon, Mumbai Central, Ahmedabad and Jammu Tavi. Booking of tickets in these trains opened at the IRCTC website earlier. All these special trains will have only first, second and third air-conditioned classes. The fare structure for these trains will be the same as regular Rajdhani trains, excluding catering charges. No catering charges will be included in the fare. Provision for prepaid meal booking and e-catering will be disabled. However, IRCTC will make provision for limited eatables and packaged drinking water on payment base basis. Railways Ministry has encouraged passengers to carry their own food and drinking water.
No linen blankets and curtains will be provided inside the train and passengers should carry their own linen. Current booking, Tatkal and premium Tatkal booking will not be permitted. Only passengers with valid confirmed tickets will be allowed to enter the railway stations. Passengers will have to wear face cover and undergo screening at departure and only asymptomatic passengers will be allowed to board the train. They will have to reach the station at least 90 minutes in advance to facilitate thermal screening. Online cancelling will be permitted up to 24 hours before scheduled departure of train. No cancellation will be permitted less than 24 hours before departure of train. Cancellation charge shall be 50% of fare. The ministry has advised all passengers to download and use the Arugia Setu app. The centre has released over 6,195 crore rupees to 14 states as the second equated monthly instalment of the post-devaluation revenue deficit grant. Office of the Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman in a tweet said that the amount will provide the states additional resources during the COVID-19 crisis. The grant is a recommendation by the 15th Finance Commission. The grant has been released to the states of Andhra Pradesh, Assam, Himachal Pradesh, Kerala, Punjab, Tamil Nadu, Uttarakhand, West Bengal, Tripura, Manipur, Meghalaya, Mizoram, Nagaland, and Sikkim. The amount released includes over 1,276 crore rupees to Kerala, 952 crore rupees to Himachal Pradesh, 638 crore rupees to Punjab, over 631 crore rupees to Assam, around 418 crore rupees to West Bengal, and 423 crore rupees to Uttarakhand. Nagaland has been given a little over 326 crores. A total of 3,604 new confirmed cases of novel coronavirus have been reported in the country during the last 24 hours, taking the total number of cases to 70,756. Health and Family Welfare Ministry said that 22,454 patients have been cured so far and the recovery rate reached to 31.73%. During the last 24 hours, 87 deaths have been reported, taking the nationwide toll to 2,293. In nearby Assam, after a gap of one day, two more persons tested COVID-19 positive in the state yesterday, taking the tally of positive cases to 64. But the active case count came down to 23 after five people were discharged from the hospital. Assam Health Minister Himanta Biswa Sarma informed in a tweet, two persons are tested COVID-19 positive in Guwahati, one originally hails from Morigao, while other is from Guwahati itself. When asked if the source of contact of two persons has been identified yet, he said, we will know in due course of time. The actual number of active cases in the state is taken to be 22 and not 23 because of the driver of the ambulance from Mumbai who tested positive in Jorhat has since gone to Bihar. Confirmed cases of coronavirus has reached 41,75,272 across the world, while the global COVID-19 death toll crossed 2,85,970. More than 80,000 people have died in the United States from the coronavirus pandemic, according to the latest figures on Monday from John Hopkins University, by far the highest death toll of any country. The United States has struggled to quell the spread of the virus with more than 1.3 million cases. New York has been the hardest hit state with more than 26,600 declared deaths. U.S. is followed by the U.K. in the second place with 32,141 fatalities out of the total 2,24,332 cases. Spain has 2,27,436 cases and 26,744 fatalities. And Italy recorded 2,19,814 with 30,739 fatalities. Nagaland Chief Minister Nifirio today held a virtual conference with other Chief Ministers and Ministers of Tribal Affairs. The Chief Minister was joined by Minister for Tribal Affairs Temjan Imna Along, along with other officials from the state. 
In a tweet, the chief minister said, discussions on implementation of programs for tribal communities and efforts to improve the economic well-being were this deliberated. The chief minister said he emphasized the need to bring self-sufficiency in agri and allied sector in Nagaland. On the occasion of the International Nurses' Day and the 200th birth anniversary of Florence Nightingale, the World Health Organization, WHO, joins hundreds of partners worldwide to highlight the importance of nurses in the healthcare continuum and thank nurses for what they do. The theme for the year is Nursing the World to Health. Historically, as well as today, nurses are at the forefront of fighting epidemics and pandemics, providing high quality and respectful treatment and care. They are often the first and sometimes the only health professional that people see and the quality of the initial assessment, care and treatment is vital. Nagaland Minister for Higher and Technical Education, Tem Janim Nalong, has sent greetings on the occasion of International Nurses' Day. In a tweet, the minister said, and I quote, I take this moment to express my gratitude towards all the nurses for the service towards humanity, especially during this COVID-19 pandemic. You are the true warriors and we respect you for your selfless sacrifice. Wishing a very happy International Nurses' Day." Unquote. Let's now take you to Kohima where a briefing is being made on the status of COVID-19 in the state. As at 4 p.m. today, a total of 882 samples have been sent for testing from the state. The results of 872 samples have been received and all have been tested as negative. The results for the remaining 10 samples are awaited. In addition, a total of 11 samples were also tested by TrueNAT machines and all were tested as negative. Today, a total of 6,532 persons have been screened and a total of 86 persons are presently under facility quarantine. Regarding the financial assistance in the form of cash grant to persons from Nagaland stranded or in distress outside the state due to the nationwide COVID-19 lockdown, till date a total of Rs 7.57 crores has been disbursed for this purpose. For those people who are returning to the state, it is mandatory to register themselves in NCOVID-19 Nagaland Visitors app, which is available for Android users. As for iOS users or any user having a problem, they can contact the toll-free helpline number 1800-345-0019 for technical support. Let's now take a look at the weather forecast across the districts of Nagaland. And with that, we come to the end of this bulletin. Stay home, stay safe, and take good care of yourself. Bye for now, and thanks for watching.